First and foremost, it's more about who you become in the process than the result that you actually create. Because the individual who's going to make more money, like again, like if hypothetically you're, you've never made more than 50,000, 100,000, 500,000, and you're looking to make your first million dollars, in order to do so, you need to change. Because the individual that you are today will not be the individual that earns that type of money. It is important, and again, like the person that I've become in the process of earning, you know, making, you know, before I got into real estate, making, you know, 40, 50, 60,000 a year, or to making my first 100,000, to making my first 500,000 a year, my, to my first million dollar plus year, to so on and so forth. You know, now earning over my lifetime, you know, probably somewhere only just shy of $10 million, where it's like, what's fascinating is the individual that I've become in this process is way more incredible, way more valuable than all the stuff that I've made, that I've bought, than all that kind of stuff, right? I wanna talk about that, because that, it's like, okay, well, how do you jumpstart, how do you kickstart the mindset piece of this, okay? Because that's what it's all about. In my journey, I've probably spent about $500,000 investing in myself. You know, people spend hundreds of thousands of dollars to go to college. I've spent hundreds of thousands of dollars investing in courses, just like this, coaches, just like me, mentors, conferences, you name it, right? Like I've spent hundreds of thousands of dollars investing in me because it will always pay a dividend. So for someone like yourself, it's very important. The overarching thing I like to say is spend more money on yourself than you do on any part of your business, especially if you haven't earned $100,000 a year yet. What people often do is they try to hoard cash instead of, if you have not made $100,000 yet in your business, it is very important to understand that like it is costing you, and Alex Hormozzi said this recently, which was like, I, I feel like I've been thinking this for a long time, but I never had to put it into words, but he said it so perfectly, which is every year that you don't invest in yourself and make a million dollars, it is costing you 900,000 a year in order to make the type of money. Really, if you're stuck at 50 grand, it's costing you $950,000 a year to not know how to make a million dollars, right? So no matter where you're at in your business, right? It is costing me, you know, call it 8 million uh, to seven, $8 million a year to not know how to make $10 million, right? So it's costing me a lot of money. So I should spend a lot of money to learn how to do so, right? Because it's costing me money each and every single year to not know how to make more. So for you, if you're like, okay, first and foremost, like I need to make a hundred grand, like, or stuck at, you know, at below a hundred or uh, 200, whatever the number is, right? You need to first invest in your skill sets so that you can earn more money, right? Because you have to invest in you so you are more valuable to the marketplace. If you do not increase your market value, you're going to be in this crazy loop and spiral of like, I'm working really hard, but I'm, I can't make more money. Well, yeah, because you haven't invested in you and you haven't learned the skill. That, that you need to understand in order to make more money. Very, very important things to differentiate here. Like super crazy important stuff to pay attention to. You become a masterful salesperson, and great at the art of communication. You master the art of networking and relationship building. That's it. Because if those few skill sets, you know, if you got so good at those skill sets, you will easily make a few hundred thousand in your first million. This is where the mindset kicks in because we make it more complicated in our heads all the time that it's more complicated than that to make a lot of money. No, it's really not. And yeah, you might have to increase your price points and you know, make sure you're paying attention to your data. Like we talked about in other things and you know, like practice, you know, make a few little tweaks here and there, but that's it guys. That's the simplicity of it. Okay, if you're getting massive value out of this video and you want to work with me personally, make sure you check out the first link in the description down below and schedule your free consultation with myself and my team. In regards to other pieces for your mindset here, because we've talked about investing in yourself and we've talked about some very, very important skills to learn in order to increase your market value. Now that we understand investing in yourself and, and we understand the skill sets we want to focus on, now, in regards to your daily actions around the mindset you have, right? So it's important to be like excited and obviously like how you show up is very, very crucial and like the enthusiasm and smiling and all these, you know, small little things that are tied back to our mindset each and every single day, like why we do what we do, which we talked about in other modules. But it's important to understand that you, you personally, where the focus that you have every day is going to drive the result. Your focus drives the result, right? Because truly, it, you're, you know, your emotion, your mindset, your emotion affects your attitude, and then that influences your action each and every single day, which then influences, directly influences, the result that you get each and every single day, week, month, year. This is why your emotional state is so important because it drives the whole rest of the bus here. That's why I say you need to stay focused. So many of us 
try to say, well, I'm only making 50, 60 grand here. Maybe I start this other business and this other business will make more money to compensate for this. No, just do more of what you're doing now because it's not like you're making 10 million a year because you've tapped out your market. You haven't tapped out your market making 60 grand a year right now. You need to figure out how to maybe I charge more for what I'm doing, which means increasing your price points, increasing your commissions so that you can make more money per deal or just do a few more deals each and every single day, right? So you can, you're can you gonna be moving these blocks here, but like the most important key thing is you and focusing on the one thing each and every single day, which is lead generation and networking. Like we talked about the skill sets, right? And obviously a few of these, uh, you know, the, the modules give you some other tips, things to pay attention to, but it's all about the focus, right? And if you're the kind of person who's kind of scatterbrained and you're all over the place and you're looking at a million different things, it is going to inhibit your growth. So it's very important to just focus, dial in for a year, two or three, that's it guys, year two or three of unbelievable focus will revolutionize your life. I was talking with my coaching group today and we were talking about, I would rather work a hundred hours a week for two years so I can work 10 hours or less a week for the rest of my life. That is the mindset you need to have nowadays, especially when the economy is all sorts of wacky right now. I will work a hundred hours a week for the next two years of my life so I can work 10 hours or less for the rest of my life. That's the mindset. Like I'm gonna go balls to the wall like crazy, not like nonstop. I'm gonna be a maniac on a freaking mission for just two years years, two, three years, so you can create a life and a business that will hold you and carry you into the future. And it's also just as crucial to pay attention to the fact, like we talked about just focusing, but there's so many things that like, listen, so many, all these gurus, and like they pitch us nonstop all day long of like, well, you're not, you're not making money because you're not doing Facebook ads, or you're not making money because you're not doing open houses the right way. You're not making money because of blah, 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 blah. Listen, it's just lead generation and like in networking. I mean, like, it's really like, that's what real estate is at the end of the day. It's just sales and, and networking with people, right? I mean, doing a great job of customer service when you have it. If you just understood that real estate in 90% of other businesses is just becoming obsessed with the daily mundane, boring tasks of the business, you will be more successful. That's it, just focus on the daily few things that do, you know, that drive the bus here, that drive dollars to your bottom line. That's what's most important. So focus on the boring mundane tasks and you will make more money hands down. And like we talked about in the money management piece of it, a lot of this has to do with the fact that like, you know, a lot of us just like to spend a lot of money and like be, you know, enjoy the, enjoy the moment. I love, 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 love traveling. Okay, for a lot of you who like follow my content, I travel all the freaking time. I think I want to like 30, you know, 30 trips this year. I love to travel. Now, here's the thing. It's also to understand, like, I work on all of my trips. I enjoy working. So, like, I like to work wherever I am. I just got back from Mexico, and while I was there, of the six-day trip that I was on, I worked for, you know, four of those days. And I'd call it even half days on the other two days, right? Like, you know, like, I, I love working. So, like, I'll go, and I just like being in a new environment, right? It doesn't mean I work in 24 hours, by the way. I just, I, I like to, like, work for a few hours and then enjoy myself, right? Like, I, that's how I am. The key thing to pay attention to is that like there will be a time where you get to enjoy. It's I didn't go on a single trip for like a vacation for three and a half years. I think it was even closer to four. Almost four years, I didn't go on one really vacation trip at all, maybe two in four years. And like, they were both like three or four day trips. And like, it was, you know, like the things I couldn't move, right? I mean, like, that's it, right? For four years straight, I worked 100 hour weeks. I was committed. So for those of you who are watching this, you're like, well, I wanna live this type of life. Be patient. I almost wish I waited two years longer to just save up more money. Like I would have been, you know, infinitely more farther along, but I wanna enjoy my life, right? Like, you know, again, I wanna enjoy too. I sacrificed for three and a half, four years, a large majority of my time so that I could live a better life in the future, which is why I'm saying I'm about to go through it again because like, listen, I'm talking about having kids with my fiance now, or, you know, we're gonna be getting married soon. I'm talking about having, when we're gonna have kids. And like, I'm telling my coaching team, you know, the team of people that I coach and you know, all the people that I'm with, I'm like, I'm gonna go through another season of, you know, maniac and a mission type of work because again, I don't wanna work after two years. And two years from now when I have kids or three years from now when I have kids, I'm not gonna wanna have to work but like, like even I work now. I'm gonna wanna work like maybe three hours a week, five hours a week and just spend a lot of time with my kids and spend other time doing other things, right? I wanna spend time with my family and other things. That's the mindset I have, right? I don't need to make hundreds, hundreds of millions of dollars. I don't care anymore. Like it's more about, I wanna live a great life and I wanna make great money while I work work almost as close to zero hours as possible. But that's the point of all this. Like that's the mindset that I have, right? But I'm gonna work two to three years right now just like crazy maniac and a mission type of work ethic because that's the life I want to live. So again, when it comes to your mindset, it's also incredibly important to understand like your environment drives everything. Your family, your current family, the people you live with, your colleagues, the office that you work out of, okay? 
That controls your environment. If your network, the people you spend the most time with, we've all heard this before, you are a sum of the five people you spend the most time with. If you are spending time, majority of the time, with people who make 50,000 a year, 100,000 a year, even if it's your wife, your girlfriend, your husband, whatever, doesn't matter. Whoever you're with, a majority of the time, is going to dictate your income. Understand that if you want to make more money, but you spend a lot of time with people who make 50 grand a year, or 100 grand a year, and you're striving to make a, your first million, get them out of the life that you have right now, okay? Now, I'm not saying you need to get a divorce. I'm just saying go to an office and go somewhere where wealthy people are and work there a majority of the time. I'm not saying that your spouse, your significant other, or your parents, if you live with your parents still, need to be making a million dollars a year for you to make more money. No. I'm saying you need to surround yourself with more successful people more frequently because if you're constantly around people who are not making money, that means they're influencing your actions. And I see this all the time. If I like, if I go a week where I'm spending a lot of time with my friends, like, you know, like hypothetically during like Thanksgiving week, spend a lot of time with my, my childhood friends and I love them to death, but like, you know, again, they make 50,000 to 150,000 a year. It just influences a lot of my actions, right? Like I spent very little time working that week and I'm just saying like, but it influenced a lot of my actions, right? Because I was with them a lot and that influenced a lot of my actions. So it's important to understand, like, listen, when I work, when I spend time with people who are making infinitely more money than me, I change my actions drastically. I will always make more money when I spend time with people who make more money. Me. Just understand you have to be really cognizant of what your environment looks like. And it's like, listen, if your office right now, if you are the number one agent in your office, you're in the wrong office. If your office right now, you have 40 agents in your office and you're making 500 grand a year and you're number one, get the heck out of that office. Because you you don't have anywhere to go. You already made it. You're number one. Go into a bigger company. Like again, one of the reasons why I switched to EXP, and this is not a pitch. I don't care what company you work with. I'm saying the reason why I joined EXP was because the level of competition was insane. You know, like the number one person out, you know, because it's it's more of like a global group, right? Like it's not like localized because there's not there's no offices. So like I'm competing with agents all around the country of like income levels and it's awesome. You know, like I get fired up. You know, like these guys are doing, you know, 500 million plus a year. You know, insane. Like I love seeing numbers. Like that inspires me, right? Those are numbers I want to do. But again, like if you're the number one agent in your office and you're doing, you know, 20, 30, 40, 50, even 100 million a year and you're number one already, you're in the wrong office. I mean, like it's just simply put as that. So just pay attention to that type of stuff. And, and it, by the way, it's also like, even if you're, you know, top 10, top 20 in an office of a thousand people and you're, you know, making a few hundred grand a year, you're still in the wrong office. Like you need to get into, it's like you're, in, you're, you're a big fish in a very small pond and it's time to go to a very, it's like an ocean with huge, fish and, and play in those worlds, right? Like that's, that's cause that's going to expand, right? It's like a goldfish will only grow to the size of their tank, right? Or whatever that is, like a fish will only grow to the size of its tank. It's time to expand the tank, right? Like, so if your colleagues are not, you know, really, really challenging you right now, it's probably the wrong office for you, man. I'm sorry. I'm just here to be blunt with you guys, right? So it's like, you got to think about that type of stuff because it matters. And the same thing when it comes to your commission amount, which, you know, quick, you know, quick side note of like your mindset, like if you're around you know, a brokerage, but and they're paying you 100% commissions, that can be one thing, right? But it's still, it's like, you gotta play this devil advocate thing where it's like, if you have a great environment and they're paying you 80% versus a really terrible environment, but they're paying you 100%, it's like sometimes like you can make 80%, you know, 80% of, of, of $10 million in gross commissionable income because you have an insane, you know, really, really good environment, probably gonna be better than making 500,000 a year at 100% commission. You know what I'm saying here? Because you have a terrible environment there. Just pay attention to that kind of stuff, guys. So like, that's, that's a big reason why I ended up switching companies, you know, just as a side note here, but that type of stuff is why the mindset part is so important. Your environment is so freaking crucial. So, to, you know, continuing here uh, around like the mindset around building a team, the mindset, like the shift between making a hundred grand and a million dollars a year, the bigger difference here is also to understand like you're not going to be able to do all this on your own, right? You have to hire somebody. You have to, and whether it's part time per transaction, um, or full time, you need to have somebody supporting you, right? Like, so if you're making a hundred thousand a year right now, and you are doing it a hundred percent on your own, and you don't have the mind, like you're like, I want to save and conserve everything. Like I talked about in other videos, like your, your mindset could be a detriment if like you're living you know, frugally, right? Because like you won't make s simple decisions like hiring somebody where you can all of a sudden quadruple your income because you've hired somebody to take off all the little ten dollar an hour or twenty dollar an hour activities off your plate. So you're gonna be able to scale your business now, right? This is why like it's so freaking crucial just to be like. Super, like don't let don't let things like don't get emotional about stuff, right? Like it's really just to pay attention to be like, okay, like well, black and white in this business that I operate from a thirty thousand foot view, what would be the best business decision here? Whether regardless of how I feel about it, what's the best business decision to make this business do more, like to to make it more efficient financially? Not only spend less money, but also like how do I earn more money here? Well, I'm probably going to need an assistant. Okay, great. You should probably hire an assistant to do all your paperwork. I've gone through every single type of aspect, part time, per transaction, and full time, and I love per transaction. 
transaction. I think per transaction compensation is like the best compensation ever. So just, you know, again, I hire people at a per transaction in a lot of my, like two people on my team are per transaction. The other one's a full-time employee. That's it. Like one full-time employee, two per transaction. That's why I have super high margins now. That's why for you, it's important to pay attention to the fact that like, okay, well, you could have a very profitable company. It just might not look the way you want it. And, or you might need support when you don't have support right now. So you need to understand like, hey, I might need support and stop being so emotional about it, right? It's a business decision. 30,000 of you, what's best for the business. Not best for Henry, not best for you, what's best for the business to operate at a higher level. And you can say that, well, what's best for me is like, oh, I want to do it all on my own because I'm scared of, um, you know, I'm not comfortable in managing people. Okay, well, that's a skill that you probably need to learn in order to make a million dollars. I'm just being honest. I would not be able to make the money I'm making by doing 100% of all this work on my own. I'm just not, period. End of story, okay? That shift needs to occur. And also, you know, to, to, to kind of jump off of that too, where, so again, listen, if you're doing activities that don't pay you, call it $1,000 an hour, which is really just lead generation appointments and negotiating contracts, slash maybe networking a little bit, but if you're not doing things that are $1,000 an hour work, that means you're doing 10, 20, or maybe, you know, $25 an hour work, which means you're going to, if you're putting up your signs and lock boxes, if you're put, putting out an email, if you're responding to attorneys, if you're inputting documents into a software, like you're doing something that should be delegated, which means you are doing work that you shouldn't be doing, right? It just doesn't make any sense. It can be as simply put as like, I don't mow my lawn. I don't clean my house. I have people that I pay for that. I would just rather pay somebody to do it because it's not my job to do it. I can go out and make more money during the two hours that my house cleaner is here. Instead of two hours of cleaning my house up you know, top to bottom, I can go do something that will make me twenty five or $30,000. That's why I would rather spend my time doing anything. Like It's just not my job, All right? Hands up, not my job. It's just how you need to mentally look at things, right? And paying per transaction is a very simple way where you can pay very little money and only pay when the deal closes and where, you know, there's not really any, you know, major pieces here, right? Like you have a little bit of management. They're paid per transaction, so you don't have the crazy out of pocket all the time. It's a really simple way to set up your business right off the bat. And the last thing I just want to touch on when it comes to the mindset here, don't think about the real estate business as a forever career. The real estate business should never be more than a 10-year career, okay? By the way, some of you might be watching this and you've been in this business 15 years. Well, in 10 more years, or maybe even give yourself five, you need to have the mindset of like, how do I get out of this business? Which means you need to have enough passive income and or your team needs to be running operationally without you running it. The goal here is not to work to the day you die. I don't know about you, but I'm not subscribing to that type of mindset or that type of philosophy. My philosophy is saying, how do I make more money without working more hours? And eventually saying, how do I make a lot more money without working a day in my life? Well, then you need to have a business that is operationally running without me there on a day-to-day -day basis. I know obviously it sounds easier said than done, obviously, but that's the mindset, right? Like you only have should, the mindset should be, I got 10 years to figure this thing out. I got not only whatever amount of money you want to make, I don't care if it's a you know, hundred grand, a million or 10 million, whatever it is, you need to figure out how to say, okay, what skill sets do I need to learn to make, you know, maybe my first 500 or my first million? If that's now, now it's like saying, okay, well, how do I build the systems up? to, and the, what the operational processes, who do I have to hire, what does my team look like in order to take me from a million or whatever, where I no longer am the only, per, like the, the face of the company anymore, right? Like I wanna take a step back. How do, if I wanted to take a step back out of this business and I'm not running the day to day, what does my team have to look like where I can still make the money that I wanna make and the, and the business continues to run and I don't need to be there, right? On a day to day basis, that's the focus. That's the mindset you need to be following on a day to day, right? Like, so it's like, I'm doing what I'm doing today because I'm building a team and an organization, a company that will eventually allow me to take a step back where I don't need to be there on a day to day and I'm still paid. Like I'm at like 10 to 20 hours a week right now because I wanted to take some time to, you know, spend time with family. Um, I still have all my grandparents. I was still, I wanted to spend some time with my grandparents. I want to spend time with, um, you know, some really key people in my life that I just really neglected for four years, right? Like um, building my company. So I wanted, to, I took some time back and now it's like for the next two years, I'm really going to go like be a maniac on a mission again. Uh, Cause that's the goal that I have, right? Like I, now the next two years for me is saying, I want to take this $10 million net income a year and I don't want to work it. You know, I, I want to work less than five hours a week. That's the vision for the next 24 months. So for all of you watching here today, what is your vision? Like we've talked about following the processes, just even get to your first seven figure business. So that, you know, again, now it's like you have an organization that instead of you having a job every day, you are, you know, basically managing and overseeing a, a bunch of other people doing their jobs that are making you money each and every single day, right? So that's the flip in the mindset to understand that going from 100,000 to a million a year 
is going to be a, a complete flip of who you probably are today and paying attention to those like those stepping stones of like how you're going to get there, right? Because you're not going to go from 100 grand to a million dollars tomorrow, but you're saying, who do I need to become? What skill sets do I need to learn? What processes do I need to understand in order to start earning more money and improving and enhancing, increasing my market value? Hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was so much fun to uh, create. And other than that, guys, I'll see you back on YouTube. Take care, everyone. If you're getting massive value out of this video and you want to work with me personally, make sure you check out the first link in the description down below and schedule your free consultation with my myself and my team.